Hey guys, Swamp Player Harry here. Wow, back again. So quick. I'm gonna do another reaction for you. Um this one is gonna be actually from a article slash video that I'm going to watch, and this is from Fox News. And excuse me one second. Sorry about that. This is a story that is coming out from a story that's uh just came out Wednesday, a couple hours ago, but this is from April 27th. The actual incident that is being talked about happened on April 27th in New Jersey. But here's the headline. New Jersey school board member accused of trying to manipulate a cop calls police chief a skinhead. I'll give you a little bit of a backstory here. A New Jersey Board of Education member is facing a call to resign Wednesday after video surfaced purportedly showing her trying to manipulate a police officer by exercising civic privilege after she was pulled over for speeding. The woman in the April 27th dash cam video, who, which I am going to raw react to because I haven't seen it myself guys, so this is, I just found out about this like five minutes ago, so I'm going to do a raw reaction for you. But in the dash cam video, she identifies herself as Stephanie Lawson Muhammad a South Orange and Maplewood Board of Education member. Also was heard telling one of the town's officers that she's scared of cops because you guys hurt black people before calling the cops boss a skinhead. There's a little bit of backstory for you, but let me start this off. Um, I've already skipped ahead to where we're actually getting to where he actually is pulling over the car because there's, you know, about 45 seconds of nothing. So, here we go. Have a seat the car. Hi, ma'am. So apparently her daughter's in the car, too. And she's telling, taking her to school. Yes, you were speeding. That's why I'm stopping you. Realize you're doing 37 and a 25. I'm very sorry. Okay, do you have your driver's registration insurance, ma'am? I have it all. Okay. Can, can she get out and look? Sure, that's, that's, that's no problem. Okay, you're going to have to get So, right off the bat here, <laughs> um, what? She's turning into complete basket case it's been he's talked to her for for like 20 seconds and 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 she's turned into an utter basket case already so okay let's see what happens now this should be interesting okay ma'am i'll just try to get you out of here as quickly as i can okay <laughs> uh, hmm. <laughs> Scared of cops because you guys hurt, but now where have we heard that one before? Um, pretty much everywhere. Mainstream media, social media, touted by Black Lives Matter. Every, I mean, I mean, the past couple of months they're kind of been low key because you know, it's kind of died down since last year, but. This is this this is the this this narrative, this rhetoric that's pushed by the left, and it seeps into into real life. And people legitimately who don't actually have the capacity to put two neurons together and critically think, they m get manipulated by this and just believe it to be true. So, and they get themselves into hysterical fits. But anyway, let's continue. <laughs> You know what? I, and, and here's the thing. There's nothing. I'm s commending this officer. He's just standing there. Just standing there, you know. Just, he let that slide. I mean, if I was him, I would just be like, hmm? Disregard this. Let's, I mean, because, you know, here we go. Hey, do you want me to call you an ambulance? No, I don't want you to call me an ambulance. Okay. That's an insult. Okay, I'm just, I'm just wondering. You look like you might be having a panic attack or some anxiety. An okay, no problem. First off, 
officer, very well played. Very well done. I mean, I'm just saying that was, that's naturally the course of evolution. She's freaking out because he's just pulled her over. He's standing there. She's flipping the freak out. I'm not trying to swear because I don't want to get the YouTube algorithms on me, but she's literally hyperventilating in her car. And he asks a very pertinent question. Would you like me to get some assistance or an ambulance? And then she flips. No, I don't want you to get me an ambulance. Like, what? Lady, he's he's concerned over the fact that you're right now bawling your eyes out. But now you've just flipped and now you're angry. Are are you bipolar? I want you to call you. Your driver lose your registration or insurance, ma'am. That was a fucking insult. Okay. Okay, no, no, actually, I can see why the cop would actually want to call you an ambulance. Because you she went from normal to complete basket case, hyperventilating and crying, to complete bitch mode in, we're not even two minutes in here, and remember, I told you there's about 50 seconds of nothing where he's like, she drives by and he pulls her over. They don't even start talking until like a minute into, so they're not even into a minute into their, into their dialogue between each other. And she's already going that direction. And I think I know where this direction's going, but let me see what happens next. Of course, so, that, is, that is not a problem. Don't call them. I'm sorry you have to walk. Can okay. you call justice and tell her that I'm going to his Son, daughter, yes. Yeah, Can son. you call the middle school and let them know that my daughter? No, I cannot. No, I'm, I'm, I'm not, I'm not your, your secretary. I'm, I'm a cop. You. I'm surprised. I'm surprised. This. Well, I don't know what it is when it comes to you know. Minors and stuff, but I'm surprised this cop is like, yeah, this person can leave the car and walk away. But I, I guess that's up to a cop's discretion. So, but I, I'm surprised. Like, he just the kid walked out and walked to school. I mean, if, if if the kid was as concerned as the mother is right now about the police officer, you'd think maybe her son would stay there with her. But no, he's just like, yeah, cool, I'm out. Um, I'll, I'll dip. I'll head to school. No worries, mom. You can deal with this guy. Because, like, I I don't want to be part of this mom. Like, you got to, like, I think I think this kid knows who his mom is. And I think that's why he was more than willing to get out of the car and walk to school. <laughs> but let's continue. Yes. I have a driver's license. You can look at my driver's license. Oh, oh. So you, you're telling me they don't have your driver's license? I'm telling you that I don't. Okay, do you have your insurance card, ma'am? Are you making a call? No, ma'am. Stop on. That one's great. Okay. Yes, ma'am. I'll show that right now. Okay. I didn't yeah, this hear. is expired. Do you have the new one? <laughs> do you have the new one? Ah, oh, man, I hate that when that happens. I hate that when you pull out an expired insurance card and you have to find it. I don't find... see the new one. Okay. I'm freaked out right now. Okay, just a type for me, okay? Uh, I see. Yeah, here we go. No, no, no. See, look, he's being respect. He's completely. Hey, that's understandable. This a, a a stop could actually go pretty well, even if somebody doesn't have their driver's license, and if they don't even have current in, 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 per, uh, insurance. If they can get in touch with their insurance, and their insurance can say yes, and if they can provide, if they know their driver's license number off the top of their head, like. Some people do, like I do. You could give that to him, and he can go into it. There's a little computer in his car, which will find that out. So, I mean, even if, like, you, you'll probably get, you know, a fine for not having your driver's license with you. But if he can search you up and see that you are registered and you have one, they could probably let you slide. But, and with insurance, you can provide that information. Everything would be fine, even if you don't have up-to-date insurance in your car, and maybe even if you forgot your license in your other pants at home. 
I mean, shit happens. Life, life happens to people. But when you throw other stuff on top of it, like what she's already done, she's already created a, a bad atmosphere. And see, but he's taking it in stride. We'll see what happens. We're only three minutes into this. This is only nine minutes long, ten minutes long. But we're three minutes in. But let's see what happens. We need to get to the good stuff. I might, I might actually skip forward a little bit here. If he's just gonna be sitting in his car here, what it looks like. Yeah, he's just typing. Yeah, he's typing it in. He's typing shit in to the computer. Like I said, that they would. Okay, so he's just skipping ahead. I'm just skipping ahead. He's just looking stuff up. I'm just skipping ahead here. Da, 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 Still, wow, he's in the car for he's for most of the video. Literally after three minutes to oh, looks like he's getting out of the car. So, oh, he's printing out the ticket. Oh, he's printing it out. Oh, he's printing out a ticket. Okay. So for for three minutes from three minutes to eight minutes, you don't need to watch this. It's just him sitting in the car processing and printing a ticket. But here we go. Apparently, here comes the next bit of this. Uh, piece of uh, piece of work here, and then next a uh, few minutes. So let's let's watch. He's walking back to the car now. Oh my God! Has she been crying on the phone all this time? I saw when you were hanging out the window. He's literally, he's literally walks up, and all you can hear is this woman hysterical again on the phone. You need to keep your arm out the window. Okay. Oh, 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 okay, okay. She found her driver's license and she's trying to let him know. Okay, I can get you. You're being hysterical. I understand. Okay. I'm okay to drive. My child is at home and she has park today. Okay. Okay, well, I will get this done as quick as possible, okay, ma'am? Here's your driver's license and the uh, expired registration card. Excuse me, the, registra uh, the registration and the insurance card, okay? Ma'am, I wrote you a summons for the speed. I also issued one for failure to have a uh, valid insurance card in your possession, okay? What you're going to do with that summons is a mandatory court appearance because what they're going to need to do is make sure that you had insurance on the date and time that you were stopped. Okay, the only thing they're going to do is just check. Tell him I just did do your insurance card. He will send the insurance The ticket's already written, ma'am. So what you can do is... That doesn't make any sense. Yeah. Oh, and here we go. Here we go. And this is where it turns to shit. I thought, I mean, at the start it was turning to shit, but then, you know, he he saved it because, you know, he didn't, he disregarded her being crazy because she's, she's being crazy. She's, she's nuts. Complete, complete, complete emotional train wreck of a woman. But we have 50 seconds to go in this video. So there's a lot of juiciness going to happen in this 50 seconds. Because remember, right now he just said, this doesn't matter, you still need to go to court. That is the thing. When I, whenever I see these videos, when it comes to cops, whenever that happens, because you still need to go to court, that's when the shit hits the fan. It's like, but I don't want to go to court. Sorry. You do. To have to go to court. For me to have to go to court, now you want me to go to court? I don't want to go to court. I have insurance. He can text you. Did I just you say that? Okay, ma'am, the ticket's already written. I can't avoid a summons once it's already written. That's fine. You're more than welcome to do that, ma'am. Okay. Ma'am, if you, if you have any other questions, reference the court date. Maybe you can't make it. Just call us interrupt top speaker or court, or court administrator. They'll work with you as far as scheduling another date for you. Okay, ma'am? Do you have any questions for me? I don't have any questions All right, ma'am. Drop safe. What the fuck, lady? What the fuck? That's a racist. Racist. If you want to, if you want to point out somebody who's racist and who's just blatantly throwing that out there, there you go. There you go, right there. Yeah, I do the same thing. Well, that was the video, guys. Holy shit. 
Well, remember, um, the only acceptable form of racism in this day and age, in, in the wonderful times of the 21st century that we live in, is, you know, racism towards white people. So I'll clean her out.